What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, the uncrowned otaku. Latest chapter, King and Omega, came out. And we finally got the conclusion of who's going to win between Judo Beast versus potential Judo Beast. And there was a lot of questions surrounding Hayami, uh, pretty much involving his brother. Uh, what was his name? Meg Megumi? Meguro? I believe it's Megumi. But pretty much, Hayami, he, he got... He got Arashiyama. Like, he made one arm useless. And even with one one useless arm, I got to give it to Arashiyama. He never diverted from Judo. He was 100% Judo all the way. And even um, even Hayami had to admit, if he would have diverted from Judo, he would have won. If this wasn't under purgatory rules, Arashiyama would have won. Because he was slamming him. He could have killed him at any moment. But it's against purgatory's rules to kill. So all he could do was just slam and beat and batter him, but he couldn't kill him. So Arashiyama went... Full on judo, and even though he had one arm broke, he was still tripping up Hayami. Hayami came in, tried to grab him, and my man was just like, foot, bow. Yeah, that was my foot. He he did a whole, he did a whole little swing joint, tripped him up. Props to props to Hayami. He stuck the landing, came back, and this is where it all went wrong for the judo king, for the gentle king. He tried to throw big as beep Hayami. He tried to throw him with one arm, and at that point. I, I, I mean, he just stood there and was like, dude, bro, you're strong, but are you really going to try to throw me one arm? Got this dude, threw him over his shoulder, grounded, and pounded him into the victory. Hayami takes it. Toyo Alec comes through. It is now four wins for Purgatory, four wins for King and Association, five more matches to go. We got five more matches, and we got some heavy hitters, except for the clown dude I, point, I pointed out in my last video. We got some heavy hitters coming up. We still got to see Oma fight. Okay, we still got to see the Justice Dude fight. We still got to see the dude who's opposing the Justice Dude fight. There's so many heavy hitters coming up. Like, it's, it's crazy what's about to happen. And on the Purgatory side, we got at least two heavy hitters that we've seen. And one dude completely fueled by revenge. So I can't, I honestly can't wait to see what happened. But a couple of things in this chapter I did want to pinpoint. I took notes because I want to pinpoint this. After Hayami won, of course, um, Toyo Elect, they're doing the brainwashing technique. It's called... Whishing. So he put in his earbuds and it's just Megumi committing, well, confessing to everything he's done. So they're turning, they're turning Hayami into Megumi. They're inputting, kind of like what they said previously when Kure was fighting. They're inputting Megumi's personality into Hayami's body. They're trying to make the perfect zombie type monster. Because even Megumi, he didn't have the brains. Hayami has the brains. Megumi had the like like killer instinct craziness that I can't feel pain. I'm going to just tear you to limb. He had that kind of savage brutality. They're trying to bring them both together. So inside his earbuds, that's constantly playing over and over and over again. And you can see I'm probably going to... Am I going to edit this? Yeah, I might as well do a little bit of editing. You're going to see right over here, boom, that panel just popped up where you can see his face where he's like, oh, God, I got to get stronger and stronger, stronger than Arashiyama, stronger than my brother. And he's doing a little bit of time. Ah, he's doing all of that. That's 100% Megami's personality. So the brainwashing is working for sure. We know that. Next thing. Big point. Is Hayami actually Megami's brother? Yes, we had a flashback. But that could have been implanted memories. Because you'll notice. Um, he passes through um, Toyo Alex's daughter. And she says, poor little brother. And then when the dude's like, I got to get stronger then. They put this in quotation marks. He says, I got to get stronger then. My brother. Why would they put that in quotation marks? Unless... That's not his real brother. That's just a brother-like figure. Hayami, I still believe, there's some part of me that still believes he's not a real younger brother. He was made. Kind of like how Gao was made. He was made. He's having that personality built into him. I don't know how they would have aged him this quickly, but something tells me he's not a legitimate younger brother. There's some, my gut instinct says he is not a legitimate human. He is a manufactured artificial human. They built him after Megami went down. Cause, or else, why wouldn't Toyo Alec already have him in his back pocket? Come on, y'all gotta think. They put my brother in quotation marks for a reason. And I'm looking I'm looking past. I'm looking further into this. But um, I'm not gonna go on because that was pretty much it. Another one for uh, another one for the King and Omega side. King and Association side. Uh, purgatory, you know, it's up to a draw. Honestly, no Purgatory fighters have looked that impressive to me. Like, none. None of them. Zilch. Even the dude who was fighting on um, the superhuman guy, that superhuman guy was probably the weakest person on the king inside. And he gave he gave the Falcon guy, the ninja dude, some work. So 
I'm hoping they can bring in a lot more of the heavy. Oh, you know what? I take that back. The dude who's fighting um, Kano, the former fan of Mitsudo, he he was actually pretty legit. He got beat, but you know he got beat by arguably the best fang that's ever existed. So no shame there, but he did get beat. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the rest of the matches. I love this series. I watched King and Asher on Netflix. Can't wait for season, I think, three to drop. I read King and Omega. Man, just such a great series. If you like martial arts, if you like action, y'all got to get in on this. I'm telling you, y'all missing out if you don't. But anyway, make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment, do all that social media jazz. It's your boy, the Uncrowned Otaku. Bam, I'm out. See y'all.